this panel monitors tension readings and has warning alarms. It measures both differential and total tension. The bubbles on this tension dial indicate the low and the high limits for differential tension. On the total tension dial, the yellow bubble is the alarm value and the red one is the shutdown value. They function similar to approaching surface alarms. To set the alarm values, go to menu, then alarms and then press diff T alarm. Then select the values for that alarm setting and press enter. Then press the total tension alarm, select the values, and then press enter. Then press the tension shutdown button, then enter the tension shutdown value, and press enter. When finished press back, and then exit. You'll now see the alarm and shutdown bubbles have moved to the values that you just entered. Differential tension measures unexpected positive or negative changes in tension. Therefore, if the line gets stuck, or if it's not descending or ascending properly, differential tension will change, and an alarm may sound. When the dial stays near the middle zero point, line tension is within parameters. Total tension accurately measures the current tension on the line. If total tension exceeds the lower tension alarm limit, an alarm will sound, the tension value in pounds, and the excessive tension warning will be in yellow lettering. At that point, press the alarm silence button to turn off the audible alarm. In this scenario, the tension alarm will not disengage the joystick. If the tension continues to increase, and passes the red bubble, the upper tension limit, and the shutdown process will be activated, an alarm will sound, the excessive tension warning will blink in yellow, the tension values will be red, the dial will have a red ring around it, the shutdown activated warning will flash in red and the system will automatically stop the winch. Press the alarm silence button to stop the audible alarm. To release the shutdown condition, use the joystick to re-engage the winch and manually reduce tension below the shutdown tension limit, which is the red bubble on the tension dial. You can then press the release shutdown button. If the line is stuck in the hole, you may need to apply more tension than the normal shutdown value to move the line. Manually change the shutdown value to a very large number to temporarily allow extra tension on the line. Alternatively, you can momentarily turn off the active shutdown condition which is not recommended, except for in emergencies. To do that, go to Settings, Advanced, Shutdown Disabled, Back, Exit, and the Shutdown Disabled message will be displayed. With Shutdown Disabled, the hydraulics and therefore the winch will temporarily be activated, even if approaching surface or at surface alarms are sounding. After the line is free, be sure to promptly turn off the Shutdown Disabled command, which will restore the shutdown safety system. To do that, click Settings, Advanced, Shutdown Disabled which re-enables the shutdown safety system, then back and exit. The shutdown disable message will be gone and the system will be restored.